States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Clerk Tamer. Please call the roll. Hindquist. Here. Bastido. Here. Mulliner. Brennan. Present. Baremus. Here. Deuter. Here. Dunn. Here. Hill. Here. Palumski. Really Here. To a new level, Jensen. Here. Toludo. Absent Cahill. Absent Nudera. Here. Park. Here. 12 present, 2 absent. 12 present, 2 absent. We have a quorum. Item 3, receipt of written communications from the public. Is there anyone in the public, uh, in the audience, who has a written communication that they would like to deliver to the council? Seeing none, we'll move on to public forum. Clerk Tamer, is anyone signed in this evening to speak at public forum? Yes, Mayor. We have Rex Irby. All right, Mr. Irby, if you would step to the microphone in the back, state your name. Address is optional. Yeah, good evening. Can you guys hear? Yes. Uh, Rex Irby. Uh, two issues we want to cover real quick. Uh, one is the switch gear for the public works garage. The 80,000 on the budget could be handled if we put an EV charging station at the public works garage. So the Inflation Reduction Act has coverage for the switch gear if you spend money on a charger, whether it's a sole unit or multi-unit, level one, two, three, it doesn't matter, but uh, we're looking at 80,000 on the budget that could be handled possibly with, a, with the um, Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, the remedy to, to, to gap that time would be a back, the backup generator on site, I believe should be able to handle critical loads. So I'm not sure that's as pressing as, I, <coughs> as, as you guys have it on the, on the agenda. Second item uh, to wrap it up is the Verizon agreement for the extra cell phone antenna on top of the water tower on 83. Currently, that's got three antennas up there that are cranking 141 watts each. The FCC guideline here that I have, if you guys need that, is 100 watts per antenna or channel. And there's three of them up there cranking 141. So right now we're at 323 watts. Uh, 100 is the recommended watts for a residential area and 500 for a, a non-residential. So in the notes here, in, in, the, in the item that we're, you guys are handling tonight, uh, you wanna put a, they want to put an extra antenna up there, which will take them over the limit of 500 if, if they put that amount of watts up there. So you might have a problem. So just want to make a note of that. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Irby. Is anyone else signed in, Clerk That's Tamer? It, Mayor. All right. Is there anyone else in the audience who would like to speak, make a public comment, but did not have an opportunity to sign in? Seeing none, we'll move on to item five announcements. Are there any announcements from the dais? All right. We'll move on to the consent agenda. Clerk Tamer, please read the consent agenda. Yes, Mayor. Okay. 6.1 minutes of the regular meeting of the Elmhurst City Council on February 6, 2023. 6.2 minutes of the executive session meeting of the Elmhurst City Council on February 6, 2023. 6.3 accounts payable February 20th, 2023. $1,989,556.90. Is that what I said? Sorry. One million eight hundred eighty-nine thousand five hundred fifty-six dollars and ninety cents. Sorry. Six point four appointment of Kevin Burns, uh, ZNP Vice Chair. Six point five referral gun safety education. Six point six report third amendment to lease agreement with Verizon on West Elevated Tank. Six point seven report Elmhurst City Center twenty twenty-three events. 6.8 report liquor license request phase three brewing company 6.9 an ordinance granting a conditional use permit for the property commonly known as 699 north walnut street elmhurst illinois 6.10 an ordinance amending section 31.03 entitled registration of businesses required and section 31.20 entitled 
fee schedule in Article 1 entitled Administration of Chapter 31, entitled Business Licensing, Regulations, and Registration, and Section 31.191 entitled License and Permit Required, Section 31.193 entitled Application for Massage Establishment License, Section 31.194 entitled Application for Massage Massages Permit, Section 31.196 entitled Issuance of License or Permit, Section 31.198 entitled Posting of License and Permits, and Section 31.205 entitled Employment of Massages of Article 17 entitled Massage Establishment, all contained in Chapter 31 entitled Business Licensing, Regulation and Registration of the Municipal Code of Ordinances of the City of Elmhurst, Illinois. 6.11, an ordinance declaring surplus property and authorizing the disposal of the surplus property for the police department equipment. 6.12, an ordinance waiving bid and authorizing the purchase of 188 LED streetlight fixtures for the city of Elmhurst. 6.13, a resolution to approve and authorize the execution of an intergovernmental agreement between the Illinois Department of Transportation and the city of Elmhurst for maintenance responsibilities and the Division of Energy Costs for Traffic Signals and Other Traffic Control Devices on State Roadways. 6.14, a resolution authorizing the issuance of a notice of award and authorizing the execution of a contract for the Public Works Garage Switchgear Replacement Project. 6.15, a resolution to approve and authorize the execution of a professional construction observation engineering services agreement by and between Clark Dietz Inc. and the City of Elmhurst for the 2023 Water Main Improvements Project. 6.16, a resolution authorizing payment to Aclara Technologies LLC for annual software hosting and maintenance services for water meter reading and zone scan data transfers. 6.17, a resolution approving and authorizing the execution of the First Amendment to the Professional Services Agreement by and between the City of Elmhurst and Civil Tech Engineering Inc. for the North York Street Sidewalk Improvement Project Phase 1 Engineering Services. 6.18, a resolution to repeal resolution number R20-2022 entitled a resolution authorizing the execution of a recapture agreement by and between J.J. Doherty Builders Inc. and the City of Elmhurst, Illinois and authorizing the execution of amended recapture agreement by and between J.J. Doherty Builders, Inc. and the City of Elmhurst. And 6.19, a resolution approving and authorizing the issuance of a notice of award for the 2023 Storm Sewer Lining Project number 23-29. Thank you, Clerk Tamer. Is there any item on the consent agenda that any alderman would like to remove, either to vote against or for further discussion? There being none, I may have a motion to approve the consent agenda. Alderman Molnar with a motion. Alderman Dunn with a second. Clerk Tamer. Hanqu uh, yeah, Hanquist. Aye. Bastido. Aye. Mulliner. Aye. Brennan. Aye. Veremus. Aye. Deuter. Aye. Dunn. Aye. Hill. Aye. Halemski. Aye. Jensen. Aye. Toledo, absent. Cahill, absent. Nudera. Aye. Park. Aye. 12 ayes, 0 nays, 2 absent. 12 ayes, 0 nays, 2 absent. The consent agenda is adopted. Item 7, reports and recommendations of appointed elected officials. Mayor Levin. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank Elmhurst University's political science students for joining us tonight. And you may have noticed the extensive recitation by our clerk on the things on the agenda, which lets you know that we actually do work, but it's done as many governmental bodies do in committee. So that is the some total of the things that have been working through our four committees and it's also good for the public to know that we actually do work besides listening to clerk tamer every meeting um, additional announcements the uh, while we're talking about elmhurst university their jazz fest is this weekend check their website um, our elmhurst fourth of uh, uh, march 4th is our saint patrick's day parade uh, i think we're still third largest in the state kicks off right around noon on Spring Road. Hope you'll join us, uh, and we expect to uh, ask the federal government for assistance on the weather on that as well. Lastly, I do want to comment. Uh, we had uh, Governor DeSantis uh, visit yesterday. Uh, was it uh, was yesterday? Seems yesterday. like a long time ago. <laughs> um, you know, politics aside, I want to say I, I was at the command center with our police chief, our fire chief, city manager, and uh, public works director. Um, the behind the curtains scene of what it takes to 
have an event like that, uh, the proper security, the staging, the coordination between our police agency and the <coughs> other police agencies which send officers, um, I couldn't have been more impressed by uh, what I saw uh, and how prepared we are. Um, and I sent a, had a text exchange with former Mayor Morley and he said, uh, I think I used the word uh, like, you know, I can't remember whether we, we shouldn't be surprised that this is how our public safety departments are prepared for this kind of event. So um, I, I feel confident, as I say from time to time, that whatever we're faced with, and we will face challenges, I know that's the way things go, we're as prepared as we could possibly be. And so I thank the police department, fire department, and public works for all their work. That is all I have, city manager. Thank you, a few items tonight, Mayor. Uh, vehicle stickers go on sale March 1st. Uh, we do mail out the forms beforehand. And so when we mail those, we are going to open it up online so that people can buy them online when they get those um, notices in the mail. But here at City Hall, they'll go on sale March 1st. Uh, there will be a blood drive at City Hall Tuesday, March 7th from 10 to 2 here in this room. I encourage people to come and donate. And if you can make an appointment, that's even better. And there's information on our website about that. And then last but certainly not least, the Lions Club will hold their annual pizza party fundraiser this weekend from 5 to 7 at Sandberg Middle School. Uh, it is all-you-can-eat pizza, uh, $10 a ticket or $40 for the entire family. And uh, there are details at exploreelmhurst.com. Thank you. Dot org, excuse me. I feel like there's a lion on the dais. There might be. All right. Uh, any other reports or recommendations? Alderman Dunn. Okay. Well, I have a treat for everybody tonight. Um, we're going to look at some pictures of the airport, and I got a little story to share with the council and, and those in the audience about <coughs> how the noise around the airport has, has, has uh, evolved over the, the last few decades and, and where we expect it to be uh, in the next uh, eight to ten years. Um, you can see that? Okay. All right. So this uh, is a picture of the airport in its current configuration. You see the runways going uh, from left to right, and those are the main runways there. There's six of them. Uh, and then the two diagonals uh, and the one diagonal that's, that's lower. Uh, further south is the one that actually points at Elmhurst. Um, so I, I guess I have to point at this one here. I'm sorry for those of you on that side. But yeah, Elmhurst is down in this area here. Uh, and you can see the noise contour uh, doesn't, doesn't come into Elmhurst. Um, and, and what that contour is, uh, is a 65, what they call DNL noise contour, and that is a day-night average noise contour. So it weights the noise you hear in the day, and then the noise you hear in the night is actually multiplied by 10. Uh, you get an extra penalty for being noisy at night. Uh, so that's, kind of, that's what the noise contour looks like now uh, and that's from the O'Hare modernization pro uh, project uh, which um, really just got completed uh, with the with the completion of uh, the extension of the the last runway uh, that's that's an east-west runway um, so and, and this is uh, an interesting graphic. Um, this shows when they were planning the O'Hare modernization project and trying to assess how noisy it would be. Um, what we had in the past was we only had two east-west runways and then we had the two diagonals that you can see here and there were actually two diagonals going this way and those are not there anymore. Um, those were taken out for the O'Hare modernization project so that we could have six runways running east-west and then the, uh, the, the diagonals remained. You know, much to our chagrin, we still have that one down there which impacts us. Um, 
interesting thing is this dark blue up here is areas that uh, experience a less th um, a drop of more than three decibels. Uh, and of course, you're going to get that because there's no runway there anymore, uh, as well as um, uh, this one here has seen a, a massive reduction too. Um, so the green show, shows increases and our, our poor neighbors in Wooddale took a little, uh, the, one of the bigger increases with the O'Hare modernization project uh, that we're flying under right now. Uh, as well as the city of Chicago, you can see some noise sticking out this way. Um, good thing is, though, uh, in, in our area, uh, we saw a pretty dramatic reduction in noise, um, you know, down near Elmhurst, uh, because, of, again, the move from heavily on diagonals uh, to more of an east-west uh, configuration for the airport. Um, and, and this... Uh, this was a presentation that was shared at the last ONCC meeting, and I thought it was pretty interesting, so I wanted to share it with the council. Um, so now we have, uh, we just had a new study. It was called the TAP, the Terminal Area Plan, uh, and that didn't really change the runways because they're built and, and we're, we're done with those. What it changed was the gates and the amount of traffic we're going to see. Uh, for the next 10 years, and this is what's expected to happen uh, at O'Hare you know, over the next 10 years in, under this new TAP plan. Uh, so departures um, primarily on these east-west runways here, here with this one down here heading towards Elmhurst. Uh, so you'll, you'll generally see a lot more planes flying uh, from the north away from the airport, you know, over Elmhurst, increasing altitude and uh, a little less noise than you would hear if there was a, an arrival there. Uh, and then this is the configuration for the arrivals that are expected. Um, and this is for daytime, uh, which is considered 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Now at nighttime, when the noise is penalized in how they measure it by, by tenfold, um, you know, similar um, situation here, the, the uh, um, departures taking off from the same runways and the arrivals uh, landing on those you know, same runways. Um, an interesting fact uh, that was brought up in the last meeting was that O'Hare now is the only air, airport in the world that can have four simultaneous landings uh, you know, because of the con configuration. Uh, so that's, that's pretty impressive. Um, so study was done with the, uh, with the, the TAP, the, the new terminals that are going in the new level of um, um, traffic that we'll see, and, and also the new airplanes that we'll see, which tend to be quieter, which is a plus. Um, and you can, you can see the new no noise contour. Uh, this is kind of, this is what we're gonna expect in 2032. Uh, it was actually 2030 they were targeting, but because of the slow recovery from COVID, uh, they pushed that out two years. Um, so you can see pr long, extensions of the noise exposure. Uh, this one kind of going into Bensonville, Wooddale area, Itasca, uh, and then this side going into the city. Uh, this su southern run, uh, southern airfield gets used more than the northern airfield, so that's why these are longer. Um, but this little lobe uh, is, has shrunk from the last one, so you know a little better for Elmhurst. Uh, and uh, uh, so that's, um, you know, what, what we expect to see over the next few years. Uh, and and I, I, don't, I don't, I think you'll notice, uh, maybe more so on the north side of town, slightly less noise uh, in the future. Um, 
I don't really get any calls anymore on noise. I, when I first came on council 12 years ago, I got a lot. Uh, so, uh, you know, I think it's, it's boding well for, uh, for Elmhurst. Um, so I just wanted to share that with the council. I don't know if there's any questions. I certainly entertain that, but that's all I got. Alderman Hill. I don't have any slides prepared for this, but I would like to say that I did uh, about 10 days ago attend the daytime noise ONCC meeting. And to add to what Alderman Dunn said, uh, there are going to be more improvements done to airframes and propulsion and flight paths. Hopefully that will address some of the daytime noise. Of course, Fly Quiet addressed mostly nighttime noise over the city. Well, always nighttime noise, whereas uh, the noise daytime noise committee addresses that 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. window. So there might be improvements, hopefully, even over the, the contours that we have in those um, slides. Uh, that committee is continuing to meet through um, June, where they'll have some recommendations on what to do with daytime noise. Alderman Brennan. So with this modernization, um, thank you for the update, by the way. Um, I, I'm assuming there's, you know, with this modernization, increased you know, maneuverability on the ground from a taxiway perspective. Is the, the whole goal uh, of O'Hare's to, you know, increase volume, increase safety? You know, with this modernization, what, what are the objectives? They're adding gates, et cetera. So I got to believe it's, it's volume. Right. Yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, the original plan for the, the O'Hare monitor modernization project, which they kind of modeled the noise in 2013, was to be at about a million operations per year then. Uh, didn't hit it, things slowed down, and then we hit the pandemic and we were down to, I think, 750,000. Um, expecting to be at uh, a million operations in 2030. Uh, so, you know, we do expect the, the volume to be up uh, in uh, and the, the, the move is uh, more to, to, to smaller mid-sized aircraft, so, you know, more operations, but they tend to be quieter, uh, so that's, uh, that, that's a plus. But, yeah, it's, it's generally because of the anticipated increased volume at O'Hare. Other discussion? All right, and Alderman Dunn, is, are these slides on the ONCC website? Uh, they are, yep. Is that ONCC.org or do you know? Mm. OHareNoise.org, okay. Right, from the, the last meeting that we had uh, two Fridays ago, I believe it was, it, it would be posted. From All right, uh, so thank you for the presentation and for your long service, serving as well as vice chair of that group, uh, which has been very helpful for Elmhurst. Um, other, any other uh, reports from elected officials? Seeing none, is other business, is there any other business to be brought before the council this evening? Seeing none, I uh, may have a motion to adjourn. Alderman Brennan, second Alderman Deuter, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? We're adjourned, thank you very much.